second graders, second grade musicians, how are you today? Well, student musicians, I hope you've had a uh, good weekend and are ready for this brand new week. This week, I would like to, uh, of course, uh, you might have noticed on the earlier video, we did some patting, clapping, and tapping. And we did that with some rhythmic ostinatos to kind of get us warmed up for this next uh, part today. So right now, I would, Mr. Quaver and a friend of his, Craig, and I are going to take some time out to uh, demonstrate some more rhythmic ostinatos. And this will have um, a little bit more uh, uh, rhythm patterns. And we'll do these together. And as we're doing these, I'll also kind of talk to you about what it is we're listening to and what we're either clapping or patting or tapping to and talk to you about like quarter notes and, and eighth notes and maybe some other things that may be happening. So on this first part, I would like to um, look at this uh, cooking with rhythms with uh, myself, Mr. Quaver and a friend of his, Craig. Here we go. Yeah, you can do that, or we can just send an email to them. Okay, so we had an opportunity to see a couple of rhythm patterns being um, introduced here. The first one was a very simple pattern where you had quarter, 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 or one, two, three, four. And I don't know if you heard me earlier, but you can you can send a self-addressed envelope to Quaver to get this um, uh, dough pattern if you really would like to make these rhythm dough balls with you and your mom or whoever. But we can also get them uh, through the website. Um, and just through uh, quaver.com and I'll, I'll figure out how to do that and see if I can get him to send us that uh, uh, recipe and I'll, I'll print it or uh, put it in a uh, slide in, in the next couple of days if you would really be interested in that. Okay, uh, the next thing we're going to look at is Mr. Quaver and some friend of his. Um, and, and this time he's actually going to use sentences to create a rhythmic ostinato. And I want you to pay very close attention to the sentences he creates. And as he's creating these sentences with the students, I wanna see if you and I can figure out how, um, what kind of rhythms are happening in, in this next um, section. So uh, let's let's move ahead and see if we can get, get that going. Now I'm so excited. I'm joined by my lovely friends, Courtney, Emily, meow, Sally, and Paul. Now, we are going to play some rhythms together. We're going to get the main beat into our head. So I'll give you the main beat. Try and get it in your head. Here we go. One, two, two three, three, four. four. Get one, the beat in your head. Let one, me see. Two, 
before he does I guess I'm stopping after he does all right so there's that main beat of that steady beat with the, the rhythm in your head hopefully that was in your head too as you were doing this um, so and just to kind of recap what the students were doing you know we started off with uh, elephant soup one and two three rest one and two three and then we had the gerbils gerbils kind of like Half note, half note, half note, half note. Yeah, give or take a couple of um, rhythms there. And then the uh, cheese, two, three, I like cheese, two, three, dotted half, two, three, eight, eight, dotted half, eighth note, dotted half, eighth note, yeah. And then the other one, hip bows like elephants, one and, and three and four, one and, and three and four. So <clears throat> there was some. Eighth note, quarter note, eighth note rhythms in there. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed listening to these um, two and kind of going through and counting and clapping along. We'll, we'll talk to you soon. <laughs>